All right, uh, this is uh, some guy, aka look out for Charlie on uh, doing a YouTube video about something that is a game changer, and I'm dead serious about the game changer part. Look at the dust that's next to the penny on this tissue. It's unremarkable in every way. And since the beginning of this whole drama thing, I've always noted and told people about a massive amount of dust in my house. There's just all this dust all the time. It plugs up the, uh, the air input on the side of my computer after like a week or two and I've got to take a vacuum and suck it out. It's on uh, photos and walls like um, from four feet to seven feet high. So I'd have to, uh, what I would do in the past is I would like wet down a paper towel with Windex or whatever and wipe it down so I wasn't kicking around the dust. I was just wiping it up and throwing out. I didn't have, um, I didn't have equipment to, to analyze it or do anything with it. I could look at it with like a jeweler's loop, stuff like that, but you know, you don't, it's not magnifying it that much you know I had like 10 times 15 times magnification jewelers loop stuff like that and it you know you really just can't see what shit is um it's mind-blowing and this dust here is not it's not an anomaly this wasn't like one chunk of dust bunny that I found and analyzed and found something weird in it it's everywhere this is in your environment it is everywhere and this is why I tell people that it's a constant battle you don't just like get rid of your symptoms and uh, it just vanishes forever you know it takes years to build up and then when you take this shit off your skin then you, you're continuously trying to keep it off your skin or keep your symptoms to minimal symptoms um, Thanks to everybody that donated, and I really fucking mean that because I was able to get uh, microscopes and things that I, I just couldn't get before. I want to do this 24-7. It's, it's hard. you got to keep your head above water, but th those donations really, really helped. I was able to get uh, a couple mics, some stuff. Uh, and the main thing has been microscopes and I want to get a uh, full spectrum camera and some other shit anyway what else I want to go back through some old photos of my skin some older photos of my skin that I took up close um, when I first got a scope so I could show people what was growing and what grows on your skin um, this stuff can be quite alarming but when you put this all together everything that I talked about in the past is it all lines up you know I would talk about being in the shower and the stuff would just like come off me like a scab it was as if my body was covered in this scabby glazed donut shit there's my phone um let's go forward and look at some pictures that's one there's a clear hair it's totally clear and you can see the glazed donut shit behind there number two more clear hairs and these are really clear hairs they're not even hairs I said they were like fake hairs and you can see that this one is just like built out of shit. It's really bizarre. Here, check out, uh, you can see the glazed donut shit on my skin. I think this is my arm. And, uh, and then you can see this clear hair right in the foreground. And I'll, you can see that they're really, truly clear. I'm not just saying that up ahead. The stuff's not on my skin anymore. It's minimum at most now all right here is a clear hair you can see the hair behind the hair 
if you look you can see where it meets you can see the black behind it there's another clear hair meeting that clear hair and then this is what I call a ribbon hair because they're flat this one's another ribbon hair it's a flat hair and they grow out and when you pull these hairs out they're so much different than uh, like when you pull out a pull on a real hair it pulls your skin up it hurts when you pull these out there's nothing you don't feel a goddamn thing you can pull them if, if there's one up near your eyebrow you can pull it out and it just goes and just comes out there's no there's no real root there's no deep root it's like a it's like a fake hair like a like a plant that doesn't have any roots just right out there's another clear hair and you can see that again you can see the hair behind that hair uh, two ribbon looking hairs and a clear hair running through the middle of that and I'm not saying more gallons on purpose so if you're gonna post hey dumbass that's more gallons I've I've studied more gallons for thousands of hours I, I know the whole trip I'm not using the term on purpose I'm showing you this as it is without pretense terms and all the bullshit this when my targeting was worse at its worst this stuff was all over me and doing crazy things to my body and we'll get to those photos too but let's keep going here clear hairs um, you can see the hairs behind it and then the clear hair running through the background and all the glazed donut beautiful scabby stuff there's another clear hair where you can actually see the the stuff from my skin behind it showing through it like right there right there right there totally transparent and more glazed donut shit and this is the last skin shot alright these are clear hairs glazed donut shit and look the glazed donut stuff is so thick that you can see the hair underneath growing through and there like there's a thick layer of this garbage you know okay this is it now this is I'm going to the dust now and this is 100 percent not an anomaly I tested so many samples it is 99.9 .9 of all the dust in my house and I need to get a PO box because you guys need to send me samples because I can pretty much guarantee that you have the same shit in your house so without further ado let me show you the missing link in everything that I've been talking about BAM that's the dust that was next to the penny clear fibers clear fibers everywhere held together by coagulated bloody substance that looks more like a scab than anything that is what's holding all this shit together as a dust bunny and like I said twice already it's not an anomaly this isn't one piece of dust that I found it's everywhere we need to get outside samples and check those alright boom clear hair is that go back and look at the shit on my arms in those photos and then look at this it's the exact same thing and so is this shit but these are more like vines or wires you know and then there's more of this bloody fucking substance what the fuck is that and if it's blood what is it doing in dust outside the body you know it reminds me of that um there was a woman and I forget her name but I've seen this video like 10 times she talks about chemtrails uh, does a like a seminar on chemtrails for like an hour two hours and she talks about um, dried blood cells being found in the chemtrails and I find it very strange that there's these uh, pretty much scabs holding all this shit together it's absolutely crazy let's go to the next photo boom clear hair that's the same shit dude it's the same shit and then there's more
nuclear fibers, and then more bloody shit. Let's go to the next one. Ribbons, ribbons that look like the ribbon hairs. And then uh, look at that. You can see it goes to a point like a hair, and then you can see the bubbles or whatever's inside this. Then another one. It's nuts because I'm going to show you in a little bit some of the photos from my house and stuff when this first started. It's pretty nuts. Um, here we go. Bloody substance, blue fibers, clear fibers everywhere, so coated in this coagulated bloody substance. And then there it is the fucking glazed donut shit in multiple spots and this wasn't picked up off the floor this was up on a on a wall you know like sitting on a on a photo frame as a dust bunny it's absolutely insane here's a closer uh, shot of the of the fantastic shit you can see it over here you can see it growing in between here and then uh, it's all coming together here it's as if when the uh, bloody substance meets the clear shit it starts to grow faster and it's weird because I kept saying that it was like there was a scab coming off me you know kept when I was in the shower and the stuff would peel off it was like when I would you know when you're a kid and you skin your knee and you, you got that scab area on the edges it's like it's not quite red but it's sort of like a clear brownish that's exactly what it was like coming off my skin and I can still peel it off at points like if I don't like if I don't take care of myself and then I shower after like a few weeks or something I might get a patch on my elbow or on my shoulder you know somewhere where I can or maybe like on my back where I can uh, peel that stuff off and that's exactly what it's like here are more tons of these fibers tons of them with all this coagulated crap look at that shit it it is what is it if it's not blood what is that or fake blood I, I they are fake hairs it's like fake blood what the fuck dude all right here's another one of these fibers these are the hair and then the fiber growing off that and then you've got the fleshy stuff growing all around where the coagulated shit is and then one of the fiber like the uh, ribbon hairs um, it's nuts. I can't stop saying that, but it's just absolutely mind-blowing. I'm still, I've been looking at this for a few days at least before I posted the video, and I'm still shocked when I look at it. That's the same shit, growing off the hair, and then, uh, all the blood and all the crap, and there's tons of it. Look at that. You can see where this, like, Y's out turns into two. But it's the coagulated shit acts like a like a welding joint or like a soldering joint holds it all together. Look at that. Where these all meet, the fleshy substance, the glazed donut grows in between. And then here's some growing here with the red. And then the clear hair shooting through the middle. Ribbon hair, fiber. All right, clear hair, a ribbony type fiber, and then you got all the coagulated shit holding the the salute to progress together. These fucking scumbags, man. All right. Now think about that. A lot of people talk about having chem lung, and you know all these problems with their lungs and shit. If you're breathing this shit in all day and you don't know it, you know you're gonna have fucking problems big time big time and I tell you something and you can research this a 5g antenna I'm not making any statements with this I'm just giving you something to chew on a 5g antenna regardless of what they make it out of only needs to be a few millimeters long and 5g is going to be radiating from manhole covers look that up swear to God all right the fleshy substance more fleshy substance grossness this is in your fucking environment next photo 
Look at that. Fantastic. Coagulated blood. We'll just call it blood. Got all the shit. I don't know. Here we go. Glazed donuts growing. The glaze is growing. And then, look at that. You can see it going through the back fiber. And then it shoots through the front. Comes out. And then you got more coagulated blood and glazed donut growing here. And then it's starting to grow off the tip of this fiber. Jesus fucking Christ. Same shot. Just a little bit closer, a little different. You can see the texture in this. And it's the same shit that comes off people's skin. You know, there's a lot of dudes. Because dudes have, you know, deeper and... Uh, deeper and thicker diameter hair follicles on their faces and a lot of guys that have this going on they think they're getting burns on their face or on other parts of their body but the shit's you know it's growing they'll wake up and their face is all red and blotchy and they'll wake up with the glazed donut shit all over their face like they're peeling from a burn a sunburn but it's not it's this stuff and it feels like that and looks like that because I've been there I didn't know what it was at first. I was freaking out too. But here's the missing link. This is the motherfucking missing link. And I've done a lot more shit that I need to post videos about too. I'm so fucking glad I found this. Next picture. Look at that. Lots of clear hairs, fibers, the glazed donut, the blood, the coagulation. And then we've got some darker fibers up there in the mix. Now these aren't all the same piece of dust. You know, I took like 20 and did that. Lots of uh, zooming in and screenshots and shit. Same picture, a little closer. You can see when I changed the photo on these and it's the same one, it's because you can see the, uh, the patterning inside the glazed donut so much better. All right, moving on. Look at that. Bunch of coagulation. Bunch of it. And you've got this shit, that shit. It's all shit. In your environment. Look at that. Blue fibers. Blue fibers. Red fibers. Clear fibers. Clear fibers that are infested with the coagulation. coagulation holding it together and you've got all these growing like they're like vines you know um blue fibers look at that that one's twisted up when these things get and it's like when the clear ones get infested with the coagulation they turn bright pink like they suck it up and they turn bright pink i want to figure out what makes the blue ones blue though let's move forward Look at that. Look at all that. It's fucking blood, dude. It is blood. What the fuck else is that? And I'll show you why I think that. It's nuts. Look at that shit. Fucking nuts. Little kids are around this shit. Little fucking kids, dude. Same shot. Little clearer. Look at that. It's like two eyes looking at you <laughs> Jesus Christ all right more coagulation this is every piece of dust not one did I find and go oh that's a you know just a regular hair and some dust or paper particles or you know anything a piece of sand mixed up with it you know nothing it's all this shit all of it and it looks some of it looks has a reddish hue like the one that's next to the penny and some of it is also like white it looks white till you get up close speaking of i was directed by one of the viewers to go check out this video where the the chick was on um Dr. Phil and was talking about being targeted 
and they kept referencing aliens and shit way too much, but not her. Dr. Phil kept going back to that, and those assholes edit it however they want. And I felt bad for her because I would have never gone on that show because they're going to set you fucking up. But anyway, if you see this, we have to figure out, that's why I need a fucking P.O. box. We, we have to figure out how you, how you can send me samples for me to check out because one, I'd like to convince your husband otherwise, and I think I could, and two, um, if it's not going to open up somebody like Dr. Phil's eyes who makes money off calling people crazy because he's, he's never going to see it, we can at least make him look like an asshole. So if you do see this, let's figure out how you can get me samples of stuff, you know, shit from your house, from your walls, because I'll show you mine in a few minutes, and you can show me yours. All right. More coagulation. Look at that. It's growing. It looks like a fin. And I think this is also why people think they see bug wings and shit like that. Because look at that. It almost looks like part of an insect. But it's not. You know, it's this whole grossness. That almost looks like an ant in there. But it's not. Alright. Same shot. Oh. More blood, more blood, more flesh. Pause if you need to. Take this in. Go back. Look at the photos of my, uh, the hairs coming off me. And the, uh, frosted donut shit on me. And then go back and then look at this stuff again. It's it. It's the same stuff. Lots of coagulation. Lots of blue fibers. Lots of clear fibers clear hairs all the sweetness here's one where it was really dark but there was a lot of this fleshy stuff growing but it was in small small parts this one was interesting and I think I ended up testing this one later here's a pink fiber but I think that this was clear and it got infested with the bloody substance and then sucked it up and became pink like almost like how you can fuck with a flower or a tree by putting something in its soil and then the roots suck it up I think it did the same exact thing here's a thicker one it's just it's disgusting it's unremarkable but there are clear fibers going across this one's interesting. You got all this blue shit, the blue fibers, and in the middle you got all the coagulated blood holding it together with a bunch of uh, fibers. And if this is blood or artificial, whatever this is, whose DNA is in this? Like you, uh, you know, you, if this is really what it looks like, then you've got somebody else's DNA in your house. You know, think about the implications of that for a little bit. That's a mind bender, and it's wrong on so many fucking levels. Next shot. Unremarkable, but this was a clear fiber that was turned red by the, uh, by the coagulation, and I wanted to document that. And then the blue fiber up at the top. And one of our long, clear buddies shooting through the middle <clears throat> next shot look at that got all that stuff and then this one is gr actually growing this clear fiber is actually growing off this and then down here it's growing and these are smaller more thread like and they are growing from this end into that end Just wow. More fleshy substance growing. And then you've got, see this clear fiber here. You've got all this coagulation but in dots. Like it's sticking to the edges of it. And the same thing on this side. Every couple inches you got a dot of this stuff. Dot, 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 dot. And it's like infiltrating it. It's all designed to work together. It's a system. Alright. Look at that question is 
where and how is this system working? And what signals? I, this is a, I believe this is a passive system in some way. And it's affected by uh, electromagnetic fields. Here is uh, the last dust shot. And this is just lots of coagulation. Lots of it. And a piece of flesh growing off it in the middle. It's all connected. It's all growing. And that's just fucking crazy. Go back and watch this again. Whatever you gotta do. But you need to realize that this is a big deal. If you don't think this is a game changer, you are fucking stupid or are you are fucking high off your ass. This is totally a big deal. Okay, now after I discovered all this shit about a day later I had this idea and I took about um, about six or seven plastic uh, lids and used them as petri dishes and then what I did was I put these uh, different dust bunnies with this stuff in it in every dish and I added bleach to one peroxide to the other turpentine to one hardcore aircraft paint stripper to another I used uh, palm olive with L lactic acid I used uh, Epsom salt and I used a commercial degreaser from a from a high-end restaurant that somebody got for me and um, and what I the outcome was really interesting so let's go to the first one this was with one of the only things that touched it. It sat in bleach, peroxide, turpentine, paint stripper, hardcore paint stripper, and it was like it was sitting in water. It didn't do anything. The things that did start to break it down, this was after about 40 minutes, was the um, palm olive with the L-lactic acid, no shit, started to separate this stuff from the... Uh, from the fibers and the clear hairs and all this shit it started to separate it and it started to pull away um, another thing that broke it down was yeah you guys the Epsom salt so Epsom salt worked that took about 45 minutes to start separating but the one that really got it and really just killed it dead was this industrial biotech company degreaser that I got from somebody and this shit is hardcore and it just ate it and this is what was left it turned it into a fucking scab it dehydrated all the fibers and it was like it killed them dead you can see them instead of being all squirrely and sticking out everywhere they're just dehydrated and dead and plastered to the bottom of the dish and then what's left is just a scab. If that's not a fucking scab, what the fuck is it? It looks like I knocked some 11-year-old kid off his bike, pulled the scab off his knee while he's screaming, and stuck it on a Petri dish. Check that shit out. Take that in for a minute. <clears throat> All right. Now, I want to get into pictures of my house from when this first started. So I can show you some stuff. And maybe people haven't seen my old videos. So, that's another thing. A lot of people say when they click on my channel, they don't, say, like, don't see anything. Uh, dude that watches uh, said that when you click on videos or uploads, then that's where my videos show up at. I guess for some reason all my videos don't show up on my channel it's a conspiracy I don't know um, so let's look at my house from when this first started and I came home and found this all over my windows all over every one of my windows it was as if somebody came in and sprayed soda pop on them and it had all this stuff and then little fibers 
everywhere stuck to the window everywhere and this particular window is a front door window and it's about six six and a half feet up you know it's like you know there's like four of them in a row it's a little window and this stuff was sprayed everywhere everywhere on all my windows and it had fibers and it, at first to me they looked they, they almost looked like uh, like fiberglass strands but they weren't they had some of them had these really weird curves to them let's go to the next one this is uh, another window and you can see all the fibers here and just all this it looks like someone sprayed like a golden mountain dew all over everything like misted the house just bizarre let's go to this one look at that that's my windowsill the same at the same time and if you go up close you see these fibers it looks like shavings and that's what this dust looks like too like if you take a dry piece put it in between two pieces of paper and then crush it down it'll break apart and when you look at it up close it for lack of a better description it looks like the shavings from some dude's face where he like had stubble and shaved it off that's what it looks like and that's what this stuff looks like and you can see the rusty bloody substance all over everything it looks like somebody that hadn't cleaned their house in like two years and I when this stuff showed up I had just like went through the whole house and just cleaned the shit out of it before that this was out of nowhere let's go to the next one alright this was from one of my older videos but let's look at it it's another window covered in this shit and you can see these weird check out that fiber it's like the zigzag fiber there's a bunch they're everywhere along with this Mountain Dew crap so think about the dust that I'm finding now and now look back at what was originally all over the house this was one of those you know those octopus lamps and each one it's like eight of them and each one had a shade had its own shade and a light coming off it and you could bend them and put the lights where you want well I had that thing since like 2003 and uh, right after that it started to develop all this rust crap all over it that wasn't really rust it just kind of looked like it so I had to take it out to the garage and uh, dump it out there couldn't have it in the house but I went out to the garage and took photos of it and that's one of the photos it's got this crap all over it and it was in perfect condition for years before that so you know coincidentally all this shit happens like overnight right <clears throat> this was a test and I had taken some water put it in a white container and just let it sit a few days later there's all this bloody rusty substance at the bottom and then this rusty shit gathering on the sides at the top here so think about the blood shit the fibers and then look at this was everywhere it was like a it the stuff can survive outside the human body until it finds a host that's why it's so fucked up totally why it's so fucked up here's a um this is china like real china um this was a sugar bowl and there was nothing in it and then right when all this happened i looked and it's at first I, was, I thought it was rust it looks like you know iron oxide or like if someone had taken a um, one of those oh what are those called like a scrubby pad and like just like let all the little metal particles out of it steel wool that's what I was thinking of but if you look here it looks like fungus growing it looks like a mold and this is on fucking China so you know this is my house years ago and then the dust now and all the crap it all makes sense this is my ankle all right a I'm a thin guy B I've always been in shape C I've never had health issues in my life all right at all never had skin issues until this so 
when all this starts, my ankle just blows out with edema, starts swelling. You can see like an old man, like I've got like around where my sock was. I had these work socks on and I was working around the house, these boot socks. And you can see where it swelled up around this. And I had to go to the doctor at this point because I was a little bit freaked out. And they thought I'd left the country. They, they seriously asked if I had left the country. And I was like, no. And they couldn't figure it out. So they just gave me like water pills and sent me home. So, you know, that's fucked up. And if you look, it doesn't go down below where the sock was. So it was all shit that touched my skin from here to here. Alright, let's go to the next one. This was after I started the SSKI. And all the shit that was on my leg started to dry up and turn into these like uh, tectonic plates. You know, if you look at it, it looks like a bunch of dry skin, but it's not skin. And then it all peeled off like a scab as it was dying off. And then that was after the treatment. And, if, you know, if you go back and look at those photos and look at that part of my leg again, same leg, it's like night and day like what I you know de-aged like 40 years too it's just fucking nuts that's my face and when I started treating myself and when I was getting really hit with this at first this was uh, they would show up in patterns so there's one two three going down to my chin and then it was one two three and there was one on the other side and then it would do the same thing up my cheeks then I actually had this pattern going from my neck to my the middle of my back and it followed my spine all the way down open sore open sore open sore open sore all that's gone now but it's documented and think about it it's crazy and if you look you can actually see where the hair follicles are infected and letting out this glazed donut shit just slightly because I just probably washed my face and shaved within the last day or two and it hurt to shave like a motherfucker so that's probably why I've got the shitty shave job there's my hand after touching stuff that was around this house after the windows were sprayed all right what a beauty right it's just bizarre if you look up close you can see where it's it's like a burn but it's not a burn it's just where the stuff is getting infested and then what it would do was build up thicker and thicker and thicker skin and then when you would finally get it off it wasn't skin it was like a fake callus and that would peel off too that's uh inner elbow when it was starting to just bleed out and go crazy when I was treating myself and being hit and when I was trying to figure out what was going on and I think I had just taken a shower before this and I went out and I was sitting outside and I took it but you can see where the stuff's drying up and falling off me as well and it looks a lot like the stuff that was growing in between the fibers you know that's my fucking armpit is that that's fucking disgusting this stuff dried up and fell off and it came off in shards it hurt to move but this stuff just dried up fell off and my skin was underneath and it was like nuts like you couldn't even tell it was there before that it was totally invisible and then when it dried up it was just crazy and it starts in warm spots of your body like your armpit and then it will go and then it will fill in the gaps in between so it'll start in your armpits and then it'll go for your chest all the way to the middle and the front till they meet and then all the way down your back until they meet from your back so it's like this stuff is constantly moving out and it usually starts on your feet and on your head the two ends upper and lower and it goes down and it meets in the middle <clears throat> um, that's me taking a photo and parting the shitty shave job but it really hurt the shave at that point too check out the I was pulling on my earlobe and I was pulling it up 
so that you could really see how the stuff was breaking up and peeling off my ear. And my tinnitus went down massively. All the sounds, the tinnitus, the, the beeps, the weird noises, all that stuff stopped in intensity by huge amounts after I got this stuff off. And you can see that my skin looks all old and wrinkly there because I'm pulling on it and I've got something on my skin that isn't real. It's this whole fucking coating. Once that peeled off, my skin looked normal again. And you can see here, it's came off here, but it's still there. So it has that weird old look to it. And then there, it looks like young, younger skin. Moving on. I guess that's it. That's the penny. That's the dust. That's the dust that we analyzed. Um, I don't know what else to say. This is a big fucking deal. I'm going to do more experimenting. I'm going to do everything I can and do another video on it ASAP. I had another huge thing happen where I figured out how to pull out the loop in, um, in a lot of people's uh, chatterbox type targeting where you go to do something and then there's a sample shot back into your house. I actually have those totally recorded and they're fucking awesome. But I gotta make a totally different video for that because they're these are both big deals. But if you haven't let this soak in, watch it again. And look at the dust here. It is, you wouldn't even look at it twice. You would wipe it up, you toss it out. And that shit, all that shit was in dust like this all over my house. All over everything. And then the stuff that isn't all dust bunnied up is smashed. It's in your sofa. It's in your everything. And that's why I put a plastic, you know, I knew it, but I couldn't fucking prove it. And I had a plastic cover over my bed. Um, like one of those kids that pee the bed, they get those covers put over. <laughs> I've, got, I've got one of those covers over my bed and to this day since I got that when I get into my mattress and I'm laying there I don't itch anymore when I'm laying around just hanging out where before when I would get on my old mattress I would just start itching and it was like I had I thought I had like fucking bed bugs and it was just fucking filled with this shit so thanks for watching um I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. If you if you don't get this and if you're not wrapping your head around it then then you can't be saved. And that's it.